All right, take two for a quick tutorial for Sociology 392J, Race and Policing, just to help you all find some content at Special Collections and University Archives. Uh, my name is Blake, I'm one of the archivists here. So this is our main website, scuba.library.umass.edu. Uh, you can find that from the libra library's website or just Google UMass Archives. Uh, this is where you find descriptions of all of our collections and lots of other information about us um, and other content. And what I recommend if you're going to come and use this website is using the browse function down here and this collecting areas. When you open that up, you'll see that there's lots of different topics um, of coverage that might be of interest for your class. Um, if I, I know I went down to P there. I know prison reform is in here, prison issues. Um, drug policy, um, African-American history, lots of stuff that might be of interest to you all. But that is a way to find all of our collections, many of which are only available in person visiting the archives, which is A, closed right now because of the pandemic, or um, B, I know this is an online class, so I don't know if you all are even on campus this summer. So instead of what I'm gonna focus on showing you is our digital collections um, and up the top corner here you'll see this area called Credo. Um, hopefully my face isn't in the way I'll move that over and if you select that it takes you to our other website uh, which is Credo which is just the name for our digital repository which is where everything in um, special collections that is available digitally um, has been scanned it lives so you have a nice search bar here and this is where I recommend that you all start your search and really play around with this um, you know I think when I'm researching a topic I often just throw in a search term for you all you know police might be of interest and you'll see you're gonna get a lot of results um, but there's lots of ways to filter this and this is where I usually do a useful thing is gonna be topics for you all so if you open up that topics and select more here you'll see these are the other things that are connecting with police. So you might be interested in demonstrations or protest movements or um, military police as an example. And one that I think tep you know, is probably of interest to this class is this police brutality tag. So if I click that, it's a lot less results to sort through. Um, a very helpful um, way to sort these is by clicking on the date that's going to organize everything that's tagged with police brutality chronologically uh, so you'll see there's some stuff from the 20s here uh, moving forward um, and other content from different collections and you can always find out what collection something's in um, down here in this option or if I select an item in Credo I will be taken to its record page and then I'll get some more information about it a little abstract some of the subjects that it's been tagged with. We already knew it was tagged with police brutality. I can view the item full. I can download a PDF of this item. I wanna show you if you scroll down, you can get the citation information for this item. So if I wanted to cite it in my paper, I'll come back to this. Um, or you can always uh, use, these are permanent links for this item. will always bring you to this item if you grab that link. That's a little bit about searching in Credo to find material. I'm gonna go back to the home page here, which is where we started. We just searched police here and I showed you some of the filters. You can also enter specific collections. I know you all are working with Du Bois a bit. So now if I click into the Du Bois papers, that search bar is no longer searching everything that we have that's digital. It's just searching um, the Du Bois papers. So obviously if I do something like race in the Du Bois papers, we're gonna get you know thousands of results. But again, those uh, different topics can be useful filters for you. Maybe race discrimination is something of interest to this class. If I open the genres, that will be telling me the different types of materials. Or if you wanna look for correspondence or an article where this is a topic. Um, and if you open up more, you'll see all different kinds of um, different genres. So maybe you wanna focus on essays or photographs um, material when you're looking for materials. Or if you're looking for specific places, you can always filter to specific places as well. So I really recommend that you take advantage of Credo, throw in search terms, use these filters. Um, something you should know, these search terms, these topics are from the Library of Congress, um, which you know historically has been influenced by white supremacy and the patriarchy. So um, 
it has the problems that many uh, information literacy classification systems have. You'll see things like politicians being the term for male politicians and women politicians will be a term um, to segregate um, and annotate that group. Or you'll see Af American writers and then African American writers are a slightly different topic. So you might have to play around with your search terms a little bit but um, it can be a great place to find content. And of course, I didn't point out there's another view. This gallery view makes it a little bit easier to filter through material. So get in touch if you have any questions. You can always navigate back to our main page. And we have um, you know, our contact information. I'm one of the people. And we're always really happy to help you find content for your research or for your other creative products. <laughs>